Good morning, YouTube, TikTok. How are you guys doing today? Thank you guys for joining us. We are doing a jade pour today. I'm gonna do something a little bit weird with my leftovers today. I have a little serving tray here that I'm gonna be giving to one of you guys. I don't I know it's kind of weird, but it, I thought it would be fun to pour some of my excess product for you guys to keep a giveaway. So somebody in the comments here is gonna be giving somebody that comments, shares, likes, follows, something like that, whatever you do, I don't know what it is, but they're gonna pick one of you guys um, out and all you need to do is let us know where you want it shipped to and we'll be finishing out that serving tray for you guys during the live today. Where are you guys watching from? Anybody from Texas out there today? Where do you guys want my next class to be? We are scheduling classes right now and I'm gonna have my little girl working to help me find commercial spaces and I want to know where you guys want me at. So what state are you watching from and where would you want me to come to a class? Hi Pamela Scott, thank you for the rose. Thanks for the rose, thanks for the love guys. Who is that? Pamela. Pamela. From California. Pamela from California. Sent us eight roses. God bless you Pamela, I hope you're having an amazing day. God bless you. Paris, California. Please come to Georgia, Chris said. Please come to Georgia. Okay, Georgia, that sounds, I love Georgia food. There's one thing I can say, even as a kid, I learned about Georgia is you guys know how to cook. They have like truly like every peach pie, peach cobbler, peach cider, man. Mm. Remember I went to one, I was, I was young, really poor. I got to, I got to sell freaking books for a religious organization when I was a kid. And when I say I got to, I mean I had to. It was the most crap ass experience of my life. Stupid as shit. I was an ugly kid, so you can just imagine how many books I freaking sold. And yeah, yeah, what a dumbass experience that was. But I got to eat a lot of really good food. Flora said, hey, hey. I, I remember they were like, Hello, trying Jeanette. to get all the most money for the most religious books and I was like wait a minute I thought Jesus was free <laughs> what the hell thank you for all the likes I got 15 thanks for all the love guys thank you for being here on our channel and we love you guys I the likes and the shares are a huge deal you guys have helped our channel um, we got canceled I got canceled because I said to unalive your local pedo if you know what that means on I had a t-shirt and I read it out loud that said that which you can buy them in our shop. They're really good t-shirts, have our company logo on them. But I guess TikTok doesn't like that kind of talk. So. so now we're over here on our small channel and you guys are showing up to support us and it means a lot. Dude, here I'm like a little kid trying to finger paint because I didn't put quite, quite enough product down here. Pamela says Jesus is say, free. Jesus is free, amen to that, Pamela. Jeanette said that's my favorite shirt. Jeanette, one of the most badass people in the world right there. Thank you, Jeanette, for being here. Pamela, I'm glad you I'm glad you believe that, Pamela. It's the one thing worth believing that is. We have six hundred and ninety-four okay. likes. Six hundred and ninety-four likes. Alright guys. Remember my the little serving tray. One of you guys out there is gonna win it, so. Do you know what I'm gonna do? Okay, I haven't, I'm trying to do jade guys, so don't, don't totally make fun of me here guys. I'm not a damn artist, okay? Linda said, very cool. Remember, one of you guys out there, maybe it's crap, but if you guys wanna come over here, you're gonna see, I am going to be giving away to somebody in here, somebody in the comments that's out there, is gonna get this tray. I'm gonna pour this right here. I just bought it with my little girl today, and I have a few others too, so Whoa. maybe when you guys see how I pour it, you'll be like, oh hell no, I don't want that crap. Oh hell no. That's what I'm gonna hear. What is this? Translucent green. What is this crap? <laughs> Dude, if you guys don't have a team that you love to work with, then you better change your damn job. If that's the one thing I'd say that I love is I love my job and the people I get to work with. Okay, 
Whoa. Dude. 2,600 likes. 2,600 likes? In. Thank you, Joseph. He said looking good. Joseph, thank you for being here. One of y'all <laughs> that hits the like button, comment, share, something like that. I don't I'm not, I don't know TikTok that well, guys, but do some of that tiktok -y crap or YouTube follow, and we'll give you this serving tray that I'm going to pour for y'all here in a second. So Beautiful as always, man. Great Lakes calls. Thank you. Thank you for the love, y'all. Okay. Now for the struggle that I have to try to make things look natural. Oh, thank you for sending us the, the team bracelet. Thanks Great for Lakes. the team bracelet, guys. Thanks for all the love. Who out there, by the way, Donahue. I forget so I repeat stuff that Michael says because I forget that now he has a microphone. Aren't you guys so glad you're getting to meet the badass, infamous, not infamous, Michael. And Let's, we're back with, with our audio. Back with audio. <laughs> yeah, we've kind of figured it out. Thanks to TikTok. Thank you, TikTok, for helping us so much. <laughs> Never. I did notice that sometimes I can't hear you when you're talking because I, I don't um, have a microphone or headphones on. So we talk over each other sometimes. So I'm gonna we try mumble and... too because I'm, I mumble. <laughs> I mumble, Michael. That's why you don't always hear me. My dad's always told me ever since I was a little kid, open your mouth when you talk. Oh, Jeanette, thank you for... Jeanette, we love you. For our Thanks for being badge. here. Is that a mini roller? This is a little mini roller, the only kind of roller to use, a little mini foam roller. Best way to roll out epoxy wow. every day. Donahue said, I got to get me a couple of those shirts, not going to lie. Well, I hope you do get some. Okay, now this is the part where I stand to screw this up so I don't want to just blow through this. I want to be pretty damn careful with this part. Someone wants to know where we're located. We're in western Colorado, and it's Grand Junction, Colorado. It's the western side of the state. The west side's the best side, even in Colorado. It's where all the mountains and beautiful stuff is. Jeanette sent 10 chilies. What? That is spicy. Hey, who knows? Um, me and my little girl are going to Italy to visit a bunch of design studios and look at a bunch of countertops and work with people on setting up some classes over in Italy. And where are we, where are we gonna be first? Nice, France and Monaco. So let us know where you guys, if anybody is watching from Europe, where you'd wanna see us or where you'd like me to set up a project for instructing a, a workshop for floors, countertops and walls. And is there anywhere just awesome that you think I should go see? Oh my gosh, Great Lakes sent us 25 chilies. Great Lakes? Dude, Great Lakes knows me. I do love spicy food, so. Um, how chilies. long does the table take to make? How long does what take to make? The table. Um, you know, it's so dependent on what you're doing. I mean, the, there's super simple designs for a table you could pour right over. And you know what, if some of you guys have that, those questions, I'll actually answer that here in just a little bit. Um, and I'll show you some different tables, some that took a long time to build, and some that took almost no time. And what the heck? Rick asked. My dress is coming off. My, my bustle, my bustle's coming undone. Isn't that what they call a, isn't a bustle like something that old ladies would wear on their dresses? It's like I a type know. of dress, like a corset? <laughs> like a, I can't. I don't know, I'm sorry. <laughs> how do you, how do you not know these things? Everybody, I thought everybody knew what a bustle was. Rick said, does the epoxy always lay out flat? Um, if you pour it thick enough, Rick, it definitely should. That's a good question. But usually an uneven epoxy surface is either, um, you know, not spreading it properly or just often not spreading enough of it to the proper area. So. Oh, well, there's shook that you can light it on fire. Um, yeah. Um, don't ever light fires, kids. I know it's fun. <laughs> what? Did I spray? <laughs> I love you. I'm sorry. My little girl's here today. She's been coming to work with me, and she is such a blessing. Jenna said, I think that was the big part that popped out on the rear. The bustle? Popped out on the rear. Oh, Jeanette, you are probably correct about that. I don't know. What do I know about bustles? Everything I know about bustles is from watching Tombstone. I don't know. I want to know what's in the spray bottle. Oh, this is going to be so freaking hot. 
I'm trying to create a track for my vans right now, guys. Remember on natural stone, your vans always start on one side and they're gonna continue and go off the opposite side. You're not gonna have a bunch of little U-turns or squiggly lines or anything on a natural piece of stone. So be a little artistic here when you're doing this section with this phase of anything. Don't be afraid if you're a dude out there. I feel like guys always put in so much work, but they're so afraid of like their friend thinking they're artistic and not liking them anymore, or thinking they're a loser for being artsy. So they just half-ass the actual beautiful part of the job, but they just built something really amazing and they used all these awesome skills they have. So if you're a dude out there and you're doing a epoxy countertop, dig into that artistic side of your life. And take your time, look at pictures, get inspired. In the spray bottles. The spray bottles is 99% isopropyl alcohol um, mixed with our mica powder. And then we also just spray a clear sometimes as well. So I want to be kind of careful. Thought when are you coming everybody. to Florida? Florida, Florida. Um, I am actually, that's funny. We were just talking today about maybe scheduling a class in Tampa Bay. So who would want me in Tampa Bay or somewhere around that area, anywhere on that coast? up or down. I'd, do, I'd go a little bit north or a little bit south. Oh, whoa. I didn't realize we have 11,000 likes. 11,000? What the heck? 11,000 likes? Is it, It's all from my grandma, probably. Who's my online grandma? She's just sweet. She's like, oh, oh, Heather. I haven't seen her for a such an interesting piece grandson's doing. Grandson's such an interesting piece. <laughs> She's like, she probably met me in a class and decided to never come back as well. If you're going to create awesome stuff, you've got to be in touch with your softer side as a guy. Amen. Just, just pay attention and not, don't be afraid to be savage, cool, Joseph. Thanks. Thank you, Joseph. Blessed on purpose. Hello. Yay. Hells. Yes. Mary Mellons. <laughs> Mary Mellon. Is she back? No. Oh, it's in that. I was excited uh, there for a second. I want. I miss that lady, Mary Mellons. <laughs> I don't even remember her real name, let's be honest. I wasn't here for any of that drama, remember? You weren't? I wasn't. Oh, shoot. Uh, info for the class in Tampa. Um, you know what? It'll be on, as soon as we get that class scheduled, we will be putting it on our website. So definitely check the link in the bio, countertopepoxy.com. Washington anytime soon? We're at in Washington. I love the PNW. Awesome. She was funny, Jeanette said. No, I think I was on vacation. Seattle. Seattle? Yeah. Um, if anybody out there has a small job that they want, but like area, like say a four or 500 square foot floor that they want done, a lot of times we will travel for stuff like that. Just remember that, so. When are you coming to California? California, I, go to, I do work in California a lot. Let me know where and what your job is. I'm, I have a couple big jobs scheduled out right now that I'm looking at there I'm not I'm just not sure when they'll start it's your 13,000 likes 13,000 likes holy cow I love you all thank you guys for being here today don't forget you matter to Jesus even if you're an asshole and nobody else likes you can you Tell do a class that every day Yuma? Is that Yuma? Yuma, Arizona. Yuma, Arizona. What the hell are you doing in Yuma, Arizona? Last time I was there, I was in my pre-Iraq deployment training, um, <laughs> learning how to catch people, apparently. I don't know that I learned a damn thing. I don't think they taught me what I what I actually went and experienced was not what they taught me in Yuma, but what I'm so sorry you? for you. Um, I was, I worked, I was in the Marine Corps, so I went to Iraq back in 0304 and just learned how to be do my job alongside other kinds of units in Yuma. That's kind of the main part of that, I think, is more of the combined arms training portion, I think, sort of like CACs out in 29 Palms. Hey, man. What are you all thinking? said Savage Joe, laughing emoji. Wow. <gasps> Guys, guess what I forgot? Bob about. Ross vibes. <laughs> I forgot. I totally spaced that I had this. Oh. Epoxy ring. Did it cure? No, it didn't oh. cure. Sorry, guys. Don't ever spray spray paint in your epoxy, ever. Never spray spray paint in your epoxy. 
don't, don't do ever it. breathe it either. That's do freaking disgusting. Not That's why my it. channel's 18 or older. <laughs> but this is a waste in artistic ability. He's the Bob Ross of epoxy. Bob Jeez. Ross. You guys are way too sweet. Happy little trees. Happy little trees. Okay, remember, this is for one of y'all out there. Holy crap, that's so, awesome. So one of you guys is going to win this, if, if you want. So just let me know. If somebody wants this in the comments, we're going to be picking a winner. And Come to Missouri. I mean, I don't know. You might get it, and you'll be like, this is what a winner gets. I don't want to be a winner. Who wants this shipped to their house? Mother freaking ASAP. We'll let it cure up, and it'll be in the mail tomorrow. Um, Greg said, come to Missouri and we can do my patio. I already have the stuff to do it from Diamond Co. Oh. Greg. Greg Bright. Greg Bright. Greg Bright. Dude, there's another good man right there. Thank you for being here, Greg. Yes, please. We all do. That's beautiful. Okay, don't drip on it, buddy. What am I help picking our winner here. We'll have Mariah or... Oh, do you want me to go and talk to Anna or them? Yeah. Yeah, go have Anna or one of them or Mariah pick a winner with you for this. Um, blessed on Purpose wants to be the winner. Bless, it up. Blessed on Purpose, dude, I love that name. Can you tell me, Blessed on Purpose, what you mean by that name? I, I love that, I don't know. Just the name alone makes me like you, so. There's another friend I have, highly favored. I love, I love the idea that God blesses us and that we can choose that and choose love. Okay, I'm gonna torch this a little bit, just lightly. Remember, this is your guys' piece. I'm gonna start doing this during a lot of the lives, so if you come back to lives, I'm gonna be giving these giveaways away, I think almost every time. So if you guys just want something that I made or not like, not like it's special because I made it. I'm not saying that, but I feel bad when I make all these things in class and then I never ever get to give anything away. They just kind of get wasted or, or I give them away to people, but they're not really interacting with us. They just show up at the office and want something free. So I just give it, give stuff to people like that all the time. But I love when I can actually hand something to somebody that sits on a live and participates. Oh, man, can you see how thick that looks? That's freaking beautiful. Yeah. That is so beautiful. I love that you went with that, that okay. gold. Man, this is going to torch out nicely. I think I'm going to use my bigger torch now. If you I notice, like I sprayed alcohol initially um, on top of the grain. And the reason I sprayed alcohol initially is I wanted to kind of break and mute the pattern. But now that I have veins down, I don't want to break and mute it. I want to torch it to keep them really crisp and solid. Phyllis is here. I think, I think we did her patio. Who? Phyllis. They're, Phyllis? They're outdoor. Phyllis is a badass. If she's here, I love you, Phyllis. I hope you're having an awesome day today. <laughs> Who is it? You've got to tell Michael. Oh, we have a winner. We got a winner of the... Boxer and Mom. Boxer and Mom. If you are here, you are the winner. You're the winner of this that. awesome tray. And I'm going to torch it one more time. Get it even smoother. Give us a call. And then we'll ship that right out to you. Just call our office. Tell them wherever you want us to send this to, and we'll send it out first thing in the morning. As soon as it, we'll put it up on a curing table and then send it out tomorrow. Oh man, look at how beautiful. This actually turned out pretty good, Michael. You picked good. This is Michael's colors, ideas, and pattern that he wanted me to do. And we're probably updating our new, our jade countertop kit. So this is actually gonna be our, our probably what I would recommend doing for a countertop kit if you're trying to be jade-ish. Guys, we will be doing giveaways every live from here on out. So, yep, all the lives, worry. guys. So definitely, we'll we will keep that up too. And you know what? We're gonna pick somebody else too. If somebody wants a free T-shirt from us, um, make sure you look in the our T-shirt shop and just tell us which T-shirt you want. Just comment. So if you want during this live, you can go in and um, let us know which shirt you want, and we'll send out a shirt to somebody too. So. Just don't get our live counsel by saying everything the shirts say. <laughs> my shirts have gotten my lives counseled. That's why we have to go live on a different channel here. Um. Oh man, that turned out. Uh, the t-shirt winner will be Great Lake Calls. Give us a call. 
Look how that's that's laying down well. I'll just trying to pop all those final little air bubbles, get the self level into place. You know what? I'm not totally opposed to. Our winner is like, stop touching it. No. Um, we should show them that floor we did. Oh, we got to show you guys the floor. Anybody here for our floor? Our floor. I think our floor is going to break the internet. So, cool. um, so we did a sample for a art studio that we're going to be pouring for our class next week. So everybody, I don't know who, let us know if you're going to be in class next week because we're pouring like an almost 2,000 square foot really fine art showroom. It's going to be really fun. Super, wind, all glass, super high ceilings and a big, beautiful open floor. So. We'll show you what. I'm going to show this sample one last time, sorry. Give me just a reason, just a little bit of enough. Dude, that turned out. I think less is more. What do y'all think? Let me know if you actually like it. And please, um, in a really nasty, critical way, let me know what you don't like about it, if there's something you don't like about it. But it has to be funny. Very nice. Thanks, Joseph. Thank you, guys. So, we we how many samples? I think we ended up doing probably. We did a probably bronze. four samples trying yeah. to get this, trying to figure out what we're gonna do for the art studio next week because we just I want something that really just is different than what anybody has ever done before. And here's our like fifteenth pour in this room. Here is our floor. You can walk on it. Okay. So gorgeous out here. Whoa, it turned out so cool. What do y'all think of the floor here? Super thick, three-dimensional. You can see down through and underneath a bunch of the colors. It feels like you're walking on water. Let me get kind of close up here. Not like Jesus walking on water, but it feels like Ginger walking on water. <laughs> Let's see, where, you, where can you see through it? Dude, is that not oh, right, it's right, so right. beautiful? It's kind of hard to see, but it's like three. I know, you just do not see it on the screen. The phones never give any justice to, don't do justice to floors like this. Well, maybe right here you can see the green under there. Oh, I love that. Yep. And the only difference will be in the art studio. It's probably going to be a lot larger format than this. Oh, thank you for the cream cone. Ice and cream cone. here is how I build my foil transitions, guys. If you're ever coming up to a floor that, with epoxy and you want to stop it, you can fold a foil transition to make a really straight edge if you want to. Fold the tape up on a 90. All this is, um, this is a regular ducting tape, Nashu or whatever the brand is. Um, and then what's nice about that, mm -hmm. let me do something like correctly now. I'm trying to pretend this actually works really well. Okay, let me go down to this end. I made a mess and I poured on top of the tape like a little boy, so of course, of course, yeah, it's gonna be a little, oh, there we are. Yeah, see? So this is why I use foil tape. It's a really nice, okay, don't move too fast. It's a really nice way to, to make it look like you're struggling while you're on, on video. It just, <laughs> it works really well. If you wanna make something look difficult, use foil tape. Oh yeah, good point, Jeanette, she said. Uh, duct tape, not duct tape. Yeah, so duct, duct tape. with a T, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, and this comes off super easy as you can see. And since I don't have a knife to get under it, I'll take well, this off and later. And we also did pour that, like, Damn it. I want, last to just, I want it to be like, like a viral, like, satisfying peel. <laughs> it'll, it'll satisfy me with peeling it off in five minutes, but you'll have a razor sharp transition. So thank you guys so much for being here Got that door on the live. Tape. And the people that are showing up for class next week, we're gonna be going over countertop building, learning how to do stuff like this that you see here. Floors, such as this was poured over a floating floor um, tile system, tile grid system that we had to um, basically pour a slurry over it, um, prep it, seal it, flood coat it, wall epoxy here. You can do this in wet areas, showers, stuff like that, directly over tile. Um, and of course, we're doing a really big floor, so I hope I see you guys in class. And thank you guys so much for joining us. Thank you for the love. Please follow us over on YouTube. It's a, every single one of you guys that goes to our YouTube channel, you get to see way longer, more uncut, and there's actually a lot of content that we just can't show on TikTok because 
because China, that's why. Um, that's all I can say. But yeah, we have a lot more over on YouTube and that's huge. Every single one of our followers, we appreciate you. God bless you and I hope you have an awesome day and I'll probably see you guys this afternoon.